राधे राधे एवरी वन इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस विद यू हाउ यू कैन एक्सप्लेन योर पावर बी आई प्रोजेक्ट इन अ डेटा एनालिस्ट पावर बी आई इंटरव्यू दिस इज द मोस्ट कॉमनली आस्ट क्वेश्चन दैट यू विल फाइंड इन एवरी इंटरव्यू यू विल फेस मे बी यू विल फाइंड इन वन राउंड और मे बी यू विल फाइंड इन मल्टीपल राउंड आस्किंग द सेम क्वेश्चन यू हैव टू बी वेरी क्लियर विद योर आंसर एंड वॉट यू आर स्पीकिंग बिकॉज देर कैन बी अ लॉट ऑफ काउंटर क्वेश्चन ऑन टॉप ऑफ इट एंड दैट्स वाई दिस वॉज द वेरी डिमांडेड वीडियो फ्रॉम मेनी ऑफ यू सो दैट्स आई एम मेकिंग दिस वीडियो टूडे so please stay tuned till the end and stay focused throughout all right let's start the video and before that please do hit the like button of this video it really motivates me to bring more useful videos for you all subscribe to the channel if you are new to it and you can also follow me on instagram learn with gigs so right now you can see on the screen i have written something in front of you which is s t a r so whenever we explain a project in a power bi interview we should follow this star method many of you would have heard about this term star method but don't know exactly what it is and what do you mean by it through a practical example so let's first go through these individual letters what does they mean exactly what is s s means situation what does situation mean what is the project objective what is the business problem on which you are working that is called situation now next is t what do you mean by t t is basically the task what kind of role what kind of task you will be performing okay that is task next is a a means action through power bi what all things you will be doing like transformation analysis visualization whatever you will be doing this comes under part of action moving on to the next letter which is r which means result so by your work what is the impact on the business so i hope all these four letters are clear to you now situation task action result now let me explain you this further through a practical example which i found on linkedin shared by megna so i have come to my microsoft word document here i will explain you through a e commerce sales analysis project i believe many of you if you have started learning power bi you would have done this project e commerce sales analysis project so with this example i am trying to explain you how you can explain your project all right now moving on to the first thing which is situation which was s now as i mentioned it is the project objective which is the business problem so for this what can be the business problem it can be the company wanted to analyze sales sales performance across different regions and product categories to identify trends and optimize inventory so this is the overall problem statement okay and that's what you will be working on now next is what is the task what kind of role you have to perform so as a developer you have to work on several kpis and metrics which is total revenue profit margin or order volume show category wise region wise sales performance then try to show customer retention road means new versus returning customers and seasonal trends in sales throughout the year so this these are the basically main matrices and kpis on which you have to work this is your task okay so this comes under t which is task now what actionable things you have done that comes under power bi what all things you have done in power bi so you need to talk about first of all what is your data source and then you, then you can talk about the transformation so you can mention that in my project the data was pulled from databases like sql server or my sql workbench as well as sharepoint or any other database or any other data source which you have used in a project i have just taken the two commonly used data sources which is database as well as sharepoint where we have details of order details return details customer details product details as well as country details so we have all these details in different tables coming from these two data sources now i have utilized and used power query to clean the missing and null values standardize formats and appended and merged tables as per the requirement from the dax and advanced features point of view i used it to calculate year or year growth profit percent by region slash country and implemented dynamic top slash low performing products apart from this i have also created drill through pages for deep diving into product level as well as region insights as well as i have also used bookmarks and slices for interactive filtering from the visualization point of view i have used bar charts for category wise trends map visuals for regional sales and kpis for high level insights as well as designed a dashboard for senior executives to make quick data driven decisions so all these things comes under actionable items what all things you have done using power bi i hope this is clear to you now now the, now the last one was result that means actionable insights that you have given to the business so from this example what is the business impact you have created help the company identify low performing categories optimize the inventory and focus on high value customers increasing the revenue by 
12 percent in the next couple of quarters so this is the result right this is the business impact that you are generating through your dashboard which is helping the business to take actionable decision resulting in revenue growth as well as other growths so this is known as star method situation task action result this is just an example of e-commerce sales analysis the similar approach you have to follow for any other project you are trying to show it can be related to supply chain it can be related to finance it can be related to telecom explaining the project will remain the same like this that we have discussed right now in this video I, so i hope you understood the project step by step if you have any queries please comment it down and if you found this video useful please do leave a comment share this within your network and stay tuned for the upcoming videos thank you